Yeah, I have a reputation as having uh, an innovative track record. The Silicon Graphics Company was a an outgrowth of years of study and interest in geometry and interest in computer graphics. And the thing that characterized that company was just a lot of hard work and drive and passion to make sure that the world could use it. And Netscape, I think it's lots of years of thinking about how networking was evolving and just having the uh, insight and instinct and the luck to meet people like Mark Andreessen and a team of people who had started building Mosaic and, and the first web browser. There was some amount of, of concern on the part of the community that used the internet that we were going to screw it up. I think that people were surprised by was our initial strategy of giving away the browser. We knew that in the license agreement that people would have to take a license if it got used in a commercial context. And the businesses began to um, contact us to pay us for the use of the product. It was, it was an amazing phenomenon that uh, in the first year of business we had almost no sales force and we were just taking orders. There's other things that people view that I've done uh, that, that you know, they would attribute to some sort of vision. The inspiration to create the Clark Center, the BioX program, um, that was from our belief that biology was going to be a big future unfolding thing. Biological and genetic engineering are, are at a stage right now that could be equivalent to the days of the ENIAC. The story, that, the story that I think is most important is that I wasn't afraid of change. I encourage people to embrace change and, and not resist it. Uh, embrace learning other things. Every time I've come to Stanford, I'm just overwhelmed. Mostly I visit the Clark Center, you know, and areas related to biology. It's, it's, it's just astounding to me how much change is occurring now. While I had some very influ influential people in my background before coming here, Stanford was a springboard. My, my being able to start a company from here was quite different from most universities. Stanford has been fundamental to my, uh, at least my perception of success. I've always felt a sense of gratitude towards Stanford and, and viewed Stanford as the place that enabled all of my you know, commercial success. And coming out here was just really a mind-opening experience. I was suddenly around some of the brightest people in the world, and I was their colleague. And I felt uh, really privileged and honored to be here.